a little bit more information what's happening topside. Back to topside we go with Rogue. Sees the revive and the drop shit coming in, so... Curious to see on how they're going to play this. If they're just going to try to shoot him out of the air. Getting tagged from oh. other places, but they know oh. exactly where the team is. Just so much damage from Sweet. I'm just glad to see the fact that they left the cursed location instead on the hunt right now to manage to take down Frex. Sweet still playing up and forward. Point man for his team. Spotted out another one trying to get a couple of taps on the peaks. Got to be careful. Takes a little bit of... Not enough to really scare him away, so going to retreat back away from this one. Rogue still vying for a lot of control back over towards this hillside. Not wanting to make the full-on aggressive play just quite yet, and I think that that's favorable. And, oh no, don't go back near this Cursed Rocks. Those are scary places, and so many people might try to get them. At this point, I feel like they're starting to get a little bit controlled, though, so it won't be quite as bad, because it felt like we had so many teams that were funneling into this location early. I mean, we already got five teams that have been eliminated. Obviously, we started with 19 again, as TLP actually didn't end up coming in. Uh, for the second time, so not sure what's going on with them. Hopefully we get some updates on what's going on, but uh, best of luck to them as they were a team that came in at like 14th today, so still plenty of potential for them to climb back, but missing out on two games is going to be absolutely crucial for that, so we'll keep tabs on it as Rogue finally gets uh, top of Pride Rock or whatever we want to call this, middle of the points where all the action has gone down. As Yeet Squad living up to their name, they've been in a lot of action so far today. And on the tail end of this map, able to escape with the full team as Energy, a team that originally was in really big trouble after Rogue's damage, is now cleaning up Solo Fide. Well, we saw the fact that NRG made that early push back over towards the center, and it slipped my mind about the fact that that's where Solo Fide was at. So it looks like Solo Fide was trying to make their push back over, get a little bit more of that Vention up top, and kind of got, a, uh, got some bullets for their work instead. Meanwhile, Yeet Squad still just trying to control this high ground point, make sure that nobody can approach back over towards them. Got to be a little bit careful as Eye Shiny and the rest of the crew still holding down this very strong choke point. You, I like, again, the way that they're set up back over towards the mini map. They know that it's very tight. You can kind of control just based off of vision. You don't have to peek around a lot as long as you keep a lot of control based over for it. Ziploc Bag's doing something kind of similar based off of positioning right now. You have to look back and forth between the two, but you got a little bit of support with it, so... And here we go. We've got Roof Korean's Eternal. Eternal, you have to give it to the guy. He knows how to hide in all these different spots. He's got a lot of little sneaky spots that he can manage to find his way through to survive, but eh, it might be a little bit problematic now. Yeah, not only is it already difficult with the concept of being 2v3 at the start, but now you're the last one remaining and a lot of these fights going down as seeing Tricky here. Try to push down on the backside. He's going to get tagged up for a little bit, but he knows there's somebody down below somewhere. Trying to spot out this last player. Can't seem to find him. Doesn't know if he's underneath or where he's at, but... Trying to use the like whole this. team. see the communication. Yeah, everybody's like, okay, where's the rat? Where is he hiding at? We know there's got to be someone around here. Oh, managed to find oh, him! Oh, no, Eternal. Eternal! You tried so hard. Managed to find another tricky little spot, but New Brainers knows where it's going to be. And again, that's just map knowledge coming in. I like the pings coming in. It was like, he was around here somewhere. I was like, wait... I know that there's that one little rock cropping right here. Good play as well. Doing it as a team, they're going to get rewarded for it too with the purple shield that Eternal had. So, moves out Roof Koreans as we drop down to our final 12 squads. Shots coming out from Aim Assist over on the top. Someone behind that tree just can't seem to land on a peak. As returning fire happens, team rotating on on the top side. Shots coming down. Design pull takes about 75 Ooh. of it. Uh, Eye Shiny and crew have to be a little bit careful. New Circle is not popped over next to them, so they're going to have to shift back over. Still a touch of the choke point that's going to be in play, but I don't know if that's the direction that they're wanting to go as they're moving entirely away from that one, maybe feeling like that might be a little bit too hot. Instead, rotate back around, maybe approach back over from the south, which does have a thinner choke point. And I don't know if we've seen any teams back over playing that position just quite yet, so they might find themselves an opportunity. Nope, I was going to be wrong. There's already going to be a team that's going to be posted up over there, but they're going to be running up back behind them. So good opportunity to maybe catch somebody with their pants down if they round this corner and spot them out first. Looks like they're going to sneak over, do see it, take the shots very quickly, inflict a lot of damage, and it is just a quick rush in. Gibraltar Shield's going to come down on both sides. Exchange going back and forth, jumping through the throwables, but that's two down, just one up, and it's going to be Muffins trying to find something to get some work out of this. Got to be a little bit careful with it. Going to have to retreat back away. Big firefight happening on the other side of it. It's going to be Yeet Squad taking the shots onto it on the hunt after him. Going to be able to spot out the positions. That's going to be Control going over towards Yeet Squad for position. Yeah, really tough, but it's still on the top side. You got Aim Assist coming out as well. I'm going to try to back out of this and reposition. 
in a really rough spot. Gonna use that portal and just completely disengage altogether. Luckily for them, it is in a safe spot. So Yeet Squad's gotta push really heavy to get back over there, but teammate's still alive. Not sure where that other player is for Yeet Squad. Looks like they're gonna go for the revive. Should be able to get here relatively safe. So just Should checking their angles, trying good. to heal back up. Yeah, don't have to really worry too much here until Amosis comes back in and applies Ooh. that pressure. Yeah, gotta be cautious off of it. Amos is feeling a little bit more frisky on it. Just going for a couple of peeks back and forth, but they're in a very cornered position and they know it. Instead, just retreating back away. Gotta be careful off of this. Yeet Squad still playing back off of the low ground, trying to connect on everything that's up above and flush this one out. Gonna go ahead and get the connection back over towards it. Now, what are they choosing to do with this? They know that they've got a lot of teams that are surrounding them. They are back down towards the south. They're gonna have to make a shift back over towards the north as the circle did move away from them. Instead, they've got control, but they also know that there's a lot of enemies surrounding them. Yeah, still doing a pretty good job. Amosis was in the area as well, but with all that noise being made, there's not a whole lot they can do. Obviously, they can go to the left side or the right side here. Either way, it's like you're moving into a position that's already been controlled, and with 10 squads remaining, you just have to assume that you need to be careful as you run out here. So not sure if they do have a Wraith Portal available or what's going to happen. Is 303 just kind of sitting on top here on that edge? Two teams nearby, and then another one they to the south. They've got a good control point to play off of. They've got vision. They've got the walls. But the problem with it is the amount of angles that they're having to watch. With the size of the circle and the amount of teams that are probably going to be making their way over towards them, they're going to find themselves with a lot of company. And it's very hard to protect from that many different angles at once, just with a three-man squad, all things considered. So, NRG looking back down the hillside right now. Got to play this one a little bit careful. They do have the hillside that they can work with trying to use that one for cover. Instead, going to try to retreat back over towards the choke point. Rocker's trying to bounce his way through this one. Going to go ahead and lose his shield but going to find himself a little cubby to hide in. He's going to have a little bit of an angle to work with, but has to be careful. Have to assume that there's going to be a lot of people approaching from these angles, just given the fact that there is so much of this circle that is still dead just due to the no man's land that is all of these rocks. Now we go back to that same location in the middle of the map where so many teams have lost their lives to on that top side by that tree. But at this point, they're able to rotate back around and they do still have his portal. So if they need to rotate out, they can, especially with the iframes, but 303 doing a good job. You talked about how much information that's, you know, really coming down to the in-game leader. Who's going to make the call on, okay, we spot this information. What do we do with this information? And that's where these guys get paid the big bucks is the ones that are really good at it. As the team going to be pushing straight into 303, they've got the angle and the hard cover, but the team gets right up close and personal as A on the outside. Shots down, but now he's overwhelmed. Three, a big push here from Yeet Squad. Trying to see if they can close it out, see if they can get the information. Big push coming up. They've got a lot of enemies that are approaching back over, trying to use this opportunity to regain what all is happening. Based off the positioning, it looks like at least three different teams have opted into making push back over here. See Yeet Squad still holding down position right on top of them in no inherent rush. They're like, we're safe for now. So inadvertently, 303 has a couple of defenders in Yeet Squad. They're trying to control back over in the other angle where they did get shot from. So, with a banner down and out, not a lot of information is going to be fed over. 303 has to figure out what they're going to do. Looking about, watching the repositions coming out from, I believe that's, I thought Yeet Squad made a position back over towards the other side and said, nope, they're playing an aggressive. Moving back over here, trying to make sure that they clear off this little bit of a corner, inflicting a lot of damage, knowing the fact that there could be a couple people lying back over there. Gibraltar, last man standing back over against the wall, but now it looks like 303 has chosen this opportunity you try to take a couple of shots. Six being the last guy up. Got to be very careful as Sentinels now deciding that they want to join the party back over towards the south. No, really smart play by 303. As soon as they heard that team push out and Yeet Squad, it's like, all right, now's our chance to third party. They're getting actually rewarded for it. So unfortunately, Yeet Squad living up to their name, but being on the receiving end of a team behind them. And that's the destruction you face sometimes when you play aggressive. And here it comes out. So 303 going to be rewarded. ton of loot to work with. Unfortunately, still without one of their team members. But... As Sentinels and the other teams fight on the other side, they should be relatively healthy. Four squads remaining, only 10 players left. So a couple teams going in with an advantage. Curious to see Amos is down to two as well. In a really good position as well, just outside the circle. Plenty of high ground to work with, so... Can be able to see a lot of these teams rotating. Just need to be careful that nobody sneaks up behind them, which... At this point, can't really happen, so... Looking pretty healthy for them as Smile in. engages again. 
So you gotta be very careful as it's gonna be not a lot of territory to work with. Smiles trying to find some type of approach. Got a Gibraltar shield up in front of him. Instead retreats back down this little bit of a hill. Trying to use the throwables to inflict what damage they can before they commit into the fight. Only many is trying to get his shields back up. Does manage to find the time to do so. Now taking the hop back over. Taking a couple of shots. Sentinel's gotta be very careful off on this. Right along the same angle that we just saw the team just a second ago. Instead trying to make their way up along the hillside. This is whenever those Gibraltar ults are gonna start being very vicious. There's not a lot of places for these teams to hide at. It's going to be 303 taking over the kill leader spot, running up and forward with authority. Just going to go ahead and throw out the Gibraltar shield. Got the angles to work with. Three squads still up and alive, but they're starting to flush out all the damage teams around them. Doing the peek back up, trying to find the angles, looking back around the side. Inflicts a lot of damage. Oh. 270 double taps right off the go, but now it is just Fury, last man up for 303, trying to inflict what damage he can. Looking back over, seeing if he can make the switch, but no, it's going to pop up. Aim assist gets the round. Whole lot breaking down towards the tail end there. And he had a great play. Those two massive shots, 70 apiece to the chest. I'm like, all right, he got the last one. But he puts the emphasis on making sure he gets a new shield so he can continue the fight with those other teams rotating in. And aim assist, like I said, having that high ground a lot to work with. They just see all these teams rotate into each other. And they're just like, let's just wait. Eventually, the team breaks out. They clean up and they get the placement points for it. So pretty exciting stuff as we're going to take a look at the highlights here in just a bit. But...